Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building a Peterbilt semi truck in Minecraft. So today uh, we've got a uh, an American style truck, um, like a semi truck, uh, which means like a tractor truck. Um, and this time we've got a sort of a, an old uh, style one. So there's like two kinds of American trucks from my perspective at least uh, and by that of course I mean like tractor trucks or semi trucks um, from an European standpoint uh, there's like the newer ones which look like this and they um, they use some uh, aerodynamic touches um, they are more streamlined but they are also quite ugly um, and then you've got the old the old style ones such as this one which pay absolutely not in the slightest any attention to aerodynamics at all um, but they just look incredibly cool uh, and uh, probably um, pretty much all of the people in Europe want one in their driveway just to drive around because they are fucking amazing uh, so anyway today we'll be building this style um, you can check out the video on the newer sort of style uh, on my channel as well um, if you if you are interested in that um, so this one uh, it's it's quite it's quite interesting and different um, it's sort of the same length as those two uh, maybe a bit shorter uh, but it's much lower as you can see uh, it's much more square um, and uh, it's also much cooler so let's go ahead and start this build and uh, I'll probably tell you some more stuff about this uh, while we do it okay so um, as any uh, tractor American tractor truck aka semi truck um, this thing also has um, like 8 in the back and it's, uh, it's got like 10 wheels which is way too many um, so if you if you don't know, um, the American truck is sort of different. Um, the American tractor truck is sort of different in philosophy than to uh, to a, a European truck. I mean, um, because this thing has um, eight wheels in the back, as opposed to well, some European trucks do as well, but um, many just have four, uh, so they only have one axle, and this one has two. Uh, and it's supposed to support the front end of the um, of the trailer, uh, which is kind of interesting. I always thought that the European trucks were um, just meant to pull the trailer uh, and not support much weight at all. Um, they have they do support the front, of course, um, but in a much smaller uh, sort of way uh, because European uh, tractor trailers have three axles uh, on the back or sort of more in the middle uh, and uh, American ones have like two on the sort of very back uh, which is kind of interesting uh, just a, a sort of um, observation there uh, anyway let's go ahead and start building this thing so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the wheels here um, they are very uh, simple now this truck is obviously much longer than a European counterpart uh, as uh, tractor trucks go because in Europe we have very strict regulations on vehicle length um, and that means that uh, in order to have as much payload as possible as much capacity they have to uh, they have to build the trucks uh, as short as possible so that so the trailer ca can be as long as possible if you know what I mean of course in America I don't think that's even an issue so they don't even give a shit and they just build trucks um, as long or as short as they want to uh, which is kind of nice uh, so anyway uh, I'm building this one out of uh, purple concrete um, so hopefully it's gonna look cool uh, so what I'm doing here we've got an axle there we've got a couple of axles here as well on the back um, this truck is a bit higher up than like my normal European style trucks it's like a half a block higher up um, the chassis is uh, so we don't have any slabs on the bottom there 
uh, except for the front. Um, and then on the back here we have some slabs that continue uh, the um, continue the chassis down to the end here. We've got um, we got some fenders on the front here. Let's make it purple. Um, and uh, they are connected by a stone slab. Uh, and we have obviously the same thing on the other side, like this. There we are. We've got a big old grill in the front. Uh, that is one of the most defining characteristics of this sort of type of truck. Um, that and the enormous um, exhaust stacks that come uh, that come out in the middle of the in the middle of the actual vehicle, which is kind of nice. Um, so anyway, we've got we've got a nice grill here. Uh, we're gonna add some lights a bit later, um, but now we'll just um, add some more purple concrete there, like so. On the back here, we're gonna go up and add some black stained glass. So we have this sort of shape here. Um, and then we've got the back part uh, which comes out, it's wider uh, by one block, something like that, um, but only the top two blocks, the bottom is, um, is left free. And then we do the, the back there, there we go, that's pretty much the shape of our, um, of our cabin there. Um, as you can see, extremely long, uh, but that's kind of, that's kind of the charm of it. It looks pretty cool. Um, so this on the back, I think it's like living quarters, maybe. I'm not sure. Probably, uh, because otherwise, why would you use this? Why would you have this empty space here? Okay, so uh, this is basically our truck here. Um, what we do from now on is just gonna be cosmetic, I guess, um, and. The, that's what a lot of these trucks are. They have a lot of cosmetic stuff. They have a lot of chrome, um, and um, they have nice wheels. They're lowered, um, and that's kind of cool. I really like that. Um, so anyway, we've got some purple carpet that goes on the front here, covers up the grill a bit, and uh, covers up the slabs as well. Uh, we've got uh, some stairs that need to go on, so I'm using uh, just quartz stairs here. Um, they're gonna provide some more access to the uh, to the door, to the driver's door. Uh, we've got some slabs on the bottom here, like so, and then we've got the uh, the fuel tank uh, or the fuel tanks, I should say, because there's two of them, one on each side. Um, they go right here, but I need to do this sort of maneuver here. So they go uh, one half of slab uh, down, so they're on, they're in the middle of a level, they look pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna have another one of those on the other side of course, so let's do that. So. There we are, we're gonna have another quartz stair, perfect, some more slabs, um, and then we're gonna have a gap there that's gonna be for the um, exhaust pipe, um, so let's just add those, because why not, they are one of the coolest parts of this, of this vehicle, so we have one on either side obviously, and they stick out uh, they stick up quite a ways, like so. Perfect. Now we just need a nice roof to cover it all up. Um, and I'm using quartz slabs for this. You could also use carpet. Um, as you can see here, uh, this roof is all in one level, uh, but you can have the back be raised up a bit if you if you like that uh, for aerodynamics, obviously. Um, and you could have just like carpet on the front and slabs on the back or blocks on the back and slabs on the front 
whatever you like. But uh, I sort of uh, came to the conclusion that this was the best way to do it, um, at least for me. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna need to add some uh, some sun guards, and um, they are just um, iron trap doors that I put up there. That's pretty much all they are, and um, that's pretty much okay for the front of our truck. Um, on the back, it's very simple. Uh, we're just gonna have some mud guards, uh, some tightly fitted mud guards for the wheels. Um, now I'm not sure, uh, but uh, these mud guards, at least on the trucks that I've seen, the ones that are like lowered and looking really cool, they are almost touching the wheels. So I'm not sure uh, if does it even have suspension in the back? Um, one of you will tell me, hopefully. Uh, just write down in the comments. I'm really interested. Um, so anyway, we've got our guards that are very much tightly fitted. Um, we're gonna need a um, an anchor point for our trailer, uh, which is gonna go right here. So we have two stairs going this way, and then two stairs going the other way. There we are. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty much it, except for our lights. Those are very important. Um, let me just find them. And some glowstone as well. They're gonna go on the front fenders. So that's pretty much that's pretty much what we have here. Um, now I'm not gonna go ahead and build a, a trailer because you know how trailers in Minecraft are. They're very very straightforward. They're just like giant slabs on some wheels. Um, the only difference would be that it would only have two uh, axles on the back instead of three. Uh, but if you're interested how to build like a, a semi trailer um, or a tractor trailer you can check out the video on my uh, tractor truck the European style that, that you can see over there I've built a, a couple of nice trailers for those so you can check them out and you can also um, make them a bit nicer and uh, sort of adapt them to the American style if you, if you like, if you wish to um, and uh, I think I'm gonna sign off right here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also check out my other videos. As I said before, I have a video on the new world style of American truck. Uh, but you can also check a video out on uh, pretty much all of these vehicles that you can see here. Uh, should be there should be a video uh, about every single one of them on my channel so anyway i hope you enjoyed and uh, i will see you next time